The American left suffers from mass formation psychosis, a psychological disorder from social and state-controlled media-induced groupthink, fear, hysteria. It's made people choose group fear over individual freedom. In other words, the left is hypnotized. Exclusive poll reveals scary number of Dems support extreme authoritarian policies. Okay, so there was a recent poll from the Heartland Institute and Rasmus. They sought to find out and the results are startling. The three-part poll asked likely voters their thoughts on the Great Reset. Half of the people said they didn't even know what it is. Hence, why we're in the situation we're in. Oh, my God. Uh Half of Democrats polled said they think federal or state governments should require purebloods to live in designated areas or facilities, a.k.a. concentration camps. This is what the Democrats in the deep state have created over the last two years, specifically with fear and hysteria of the Abercrombie and Fitch, the other fake, phony, false, scamorama stuff, and uh, half of Democrats also supported a proposal to fine or imprison those of us who question the thing on social media, television, radio, online, or digital publications. When asked if these idiots thought people who refused to get the thing should lose custody of their children, 20% of Democrats said yes. So, Mass formation psychosis is a real thing. The Democrats have used the exact same playbook for racism, homophobia, climate change crap, transgender crap. Every narrative that they wanted to push and create a victim's group they push fear, hysteria, racism, bigotry, or a phobia until they get the sheepletards so lathered up that they just succumb to their hatred, their racism, their bigotry, the fear, the hysteria, rather than thinking independently. It's common knowledge. Libtards prefer government as the answer to all their problems. Never realizing for a moment that the government is the cause of all their problems. We have seen this scenario happen many, many times. It happened in Germany with the Jews. The German people were convinced that the Jews were bad and we know what happened. The Jewish people themselves willingly got on boxcars to go get showers. 
we have seen numerous instances where people who were held captive by terrorists, physical abusers, became so emotionally attached to their captors or abusers that when rescued, they would refuse to leave. This has probably gone way too far and there's not a lot of chance for us to reverse it at this time. Okay, I'm back. It was late last night and something came up so I had to stop. So picking up where we left off, the uh, mass formation psychosis in this country has probably gotten way too far out of control that a large majority of the people who suffer from it, or rather make us suffer from it, will not come back from it. Uh, part of that will be because they have the thing and there's no coming back from a lot of that. The other part is their brains are wired a certain way now and there's nothing they can do about it. And they don't want to anyway. So natural selection or unnatural selection will take care of a lot of those people. We can only hope that some see the light come around. I believe there are, remains to be seen how many actually do, will be moving on without those who can't. They are a problem in this country when it comes to everything as we know. You can't run a country based on thoughts and feelings and racism, hatred, and bigotry. And that is their mass formation psychosis on the left. So, as we move forward, a lot of these people, once reality really kicks in, a lot of these people will take the easy way out. And there isn't a lot we can do about that. Okay, so let's keep hoping for the best. There's a lot of good information coming out, verifying everything we've known for two years when we were conspiracy theorists. And once again, we're conspiracy factoid people. So, like, share, subscribe, comment, notification bell. But for now, Jake T, signing off.